Hey Pi fam, it's time to have a real talk about something important today. Sit tight because I'm about to break it down for you in simple terms. Lately, I've been noticing a troubling pattern. False rumors and fake news are spreading like wildfire within our beloved Pi Network community. What really grinds my gears is how quickly these rumors get picked up by major newspapers and media outlets without any fact-checking. It's downright irresponsible and causing unnecessary confusion among us. One of the biggest rumors making the rounds is about Nicholas Kokalis, the mastermind behind Pi Network. Some folks are claiming he's vanished into thin air, akin to the anonymous founder of Bitcoin. There are even whispers about him resigning from his own creation. But let's set the record straight. This rumor? Totally bogus. Nicholas is very much present and actively involved in Pi Network's progress. Just a few days ago, he was updating us on the latest developments. Need proof? Here are two solid examples that confirm Nicholas hasn't gone anywhere. On May 10th, he announced the upcoming Picture Art Festival for May on the Pi Network channel. Clear evidence is present and accounted for. Nicholas recently announced the launch of a new photography channel on the Fireside Forum exclusively for the approaching Photo Art Festival. So, unless Nicholas has suddenly discovered the ability to speak from an alternate dimension, I believe the disappearance stories are completely false. They are completely false. What particularly bothers me is how several mainstream newspapers in Vietnam have recklessly promoted these bogus stories without even attempting to fact-check. A big newspaper published an article alleging that Nicholas had been missing from the company for some time and had lately resigned. There are a few YouTube videos that discuss this, and this was only 10 days after he made the May 10th statement. Newspapers like that are so focused on obtaining views and collecting money that they will publish any sensational rumor that is clicked on, regardless of whether it is real or not. It's a disgraceful breach of journalistic integrity. Think about it. Their source was just random social media babbling, it'd be like me producing a newspaper piece based on unsubstantiated remarks from a Reddit discussion. Shifting gears a bit, I had to offer a shout out to the Fireside Forum and its extremely tight regulations about photo posts for the next event. At first I'll confess it was a little annoying to see my posts erased left and right, but after a closer look, I saw Fireside was simply following its criteria to allow only authentic unedited photographs. There is no digital artwork, nor are there any words or writing over the photographs. Just natural images, acquired through the camera lens. And you know what? I applaud your dedication to remaining real and true to the spirit of photography. Let me offer you some examples of posts that were properly removed by the moderators. Any photographs that were clearly digital composites or had words and logos added into them. For example, an otherwise ordinary landscape photo with the Pi logo slapped on top, or deleted on-site drawings, graphic designs, or any other non-photographic effort. Only actual camera shots are permitted in this category. It's a strict rule, but it keeps things tidy and true to the idea. One of my friend's photos was first deleted because it included the Pi logo. However, after he protested and demonstrated that it was only a modest text overlay rather than a whole collage, the mods accepted it. The AI moderator keeps it real. Now I know some of you are wondering if these removing moderators are anti-Pi infiltrators attempting to undermine things. I understand the skepticism. But let me put your anxieties to rest. According to my investigation, the post deletions we're seeing are being carried out automatically by the Pi Network's AI moderation algorithm, rather than individual human moderators. The AI merely follows the tight photo guidelines to the letter. Allowing random individuals to delete community posts on their own would pose a significant risk of targeted censorship. Pi is smarter than that. Their AI system is rule-based and not influenced by any individual's goal. Even at the lowest zero moderating level I now have, there is no way for me or other bad actors to delete posts at will. For this reason, the various moderation clearances are closely monitored in order to ensure openness and confidence. So don't worry, those post-remove notifications on Fireside aren't the result of some dark conspiracy. They're simply the AI keeper performing its job in accordance with community norms. Okay, now for a public service announcement, there's a new fraud going around purporting to be a Pi-themed game where you can win free Pi cryptocurrency. The con artists behind this technique are attempting to dupe consumers into believing they must return their earnings to a wallet to avoid fines or fees. To be clear, this is not an official Pi Network-related announcement. It's a hoax, plain and simple. There are no games that the Pi team has authorized or endorsed. 
It's simply a ruse to steal your hard-earned money from your wallet. I stumbled found this in a Facebook group lately where someone asked if the game was legitimate. Red flags went up immediately. Fortunately I was able to identify the motive behind that post. Free promotion for a fraud disguised as an innocent question. Look, I understand that we all want to increase our pie holdings but there are no dirty shortcuts or loopholes. If something appears suspicious and is not clearly originating from the Pi Network ecosystem or official channels, it is preferable to be safe than sorry. Do not let your guard down, we're all in it together. Finally, we're a dedicated, tight-knit group of pioneers pioneering fascinating new territory with the Pi Network and blockchain technology in general. That's quite great, if you ask me. But we also need to look out for one another. Separate fact from fiction. Rise above the rumors and con artists that seek to capitalize on our drive and enthusiasm. It is the only way we will be able to fully implement the innovative goal of the Pi Network for a more financially inclusive world. So keep an eye out for suspicious activity. My fellow pioneers examine critically, ask questions, and demand journalistic accountability from mainstream media institutions that are supposed to deal with facts rather than fantasy. All right, Pi fam, it's time to wrap things up. But before we part ways, let's recap what we've covered today. We started by addressing a troubling trend within our community, the spread of false rumors and fake news. It's disheartening to see misinformation take root and cause unnecessary confusion. We debunked one of the biggest rumors circulating about Nicholas Kokalis, reaffirming that he's actively involved in Pi Network's progress. Let's not give in to sensationalism and instead focus on verified facts. We then delved into the importance of journalistic integrity, calling out mainstream newspapers for irresponsibly spreading unverified rumors. It's essential to demand accountability and rely on credible sources rather than falling for clickbait headlines. Shifting gears, we discussed the upcoming photo art festival and the strict guidelines enforced on Fireside Forum. While it may seem inconvenient at times, these rules are in place to maintain authenticity and uphold the true spirit of photography. Let's appreciate the efforts to keep our community spaces genuine and free from manipulation. Addressing concerns about post deletions, we clarified that it's not a result of human interference but rather the AI moderation system adhering to community guidelines. This ensures transparency and prevents targeted censorship, preserving the integrity of our platform. Finally, we issued a warning about a new scam targeting Pi enthusiasts. Remember, there are no shortcuts to success and if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Let's stay vigilant and protect each other from fraudulent schemes. In conclusion, we're a community united by our passion for Pi Network and blockchain technology. By separating fact from fiction, demanding accountability and supporting one another, we can realize the full potential of this revolutionary vision. Together, we're pioneering a more financially inclusive world. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and let's continue charting this exciting journey together. Until next time, keep pioneering, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, Pi fam.